What is going on you guys? I am back here for another video today and today we're going to be talking about The Big Sick. So The Big Sick is directed by Michael Showalter in which he's mainly known for his comedy. Ironically that's what the main star himself Kumal Nanjani is known for being a stand-up comedian. But anyways The Big Sick is about a romantic comedy real life story of a Kumal Nanjani playing himself as a Pakistani man obviously in which he's from the Pakistani culture and they have certain rules. For example, one of the rules is they have arranged marriages and uh, Kumal meets an American girl named Emily. And the film kind of centers the attention on them too with their relationships. At times it can be really great with tons of laughs and at times it can have some complexity to it with some trouble. So before I started this movie, I've heard like some pretty good things about it. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I honestly wasn't really that into it. Um, previewing and watching it, but I was interested in this guy Kumal Nanjani. I haven't heard of him until recently when I started watching interviews with him on YouTube about Jimmy Kimmel. I've um, watched Saturday Night Live when he was the guest host. I've heard great things about him on Silicon Valley, but I haven't heard much of him besides those. And acting standpoint, I, like I said, I haven't really heard much of him. So I was kind of intrigued by this film. And with all that being said, I was honestly very surprised with this film. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was, and I didn't really have anything wrong with it. And another reason why I wanted to watch this film is because I wanted to know more about Kumal and uh, his real life story, because this is based on his real life story relationship with this girl, Emily. And with movies that are based on um, real life true events, you don't really know what stuff was true inserted into the film. But I'll tell you with this film, um, Kumal and uh, the real life Emily, Emily Gordon, uh, they did the screenplay for it, so I would imagine they wanted the most detail from the real life into this film to show how real it was. And not only I just wanted to learn about Kumal Nanjani, his character, his uh, real life, I wanted to know more about the Pakistani culture. So the Pakistani culture, they have some strict rules, but uh, the father and mother of Kumal in this film, they want him to date a Pakistani girl, not this American girl. So if you are Kamal Nanjani, you can potentially get in big trouble for dating a white girl as a Pakistani man. And not only that, you can potentially get kicked out of your own family. Like, that just sounds weird, but that's just how the culture is. And even with knowing those obstacles, Kumal did not care because he loved this girl. But this is a pretty well uh, done film. It keeps you engaged for pretty much the whole time. Zoe Kazan, she played Emily in this film she portrayed her pretty well. I like Kumal's parents in this film because I felt like they were really believable and I almost felt like that these were his actual parents uh, portraying his parents. And Ray Romano and Holly Hunter played the parents of Emily in this film and they were really freaking funny. They surprised me tons. And all the side characters were used pretty effectively too. Through Kumal's friends, through Emily's friends, the people in their families, all the characters, they were just used pretty well. And the thing that I think this film does the greatest with is it has a well-balanced and execution of when knowing to be funny and when knowing to be serious. And I appreciate Kumal so much for giving his life story and adapting it into film. And with all that said, I'm going to give The Big Sick an A. Really, if I had to think of one little flaw about this film, I don't know, I mean, I don't think the rewatchability would be the greatest because I mean, for me, I'm looking at it and other people's perspectives of how many times can they enjoy this film rewatching and rewatching it. I feel like I could, but I don't know if everyone could. But that's just kind of like a minor flaw. It's nothing really bad about it. But guys, I do recommend this film. This film was done great. It was really funny, enjoyable, serious one of the best romantic comedies I've ever seen. And I hope you guys uh, watch this film too because I really think it is worth it. Now guys, the most important question here today, what did you guys think about The Big Sick if you did watch it? If you didn't, please make a purchase for it and whatever the case is, I really do recommend watching this film. And guys, with all that said and done, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that way you can see me next time. Thanks for watching.